Hello and welcome to the fourth video in the Shanta's Boutique e-commerce video series. On uh, this video, you'll have to uh, uh, excuse me. We I'm in a, the kitchen and my wife's cleaning, and we're going to be in some background noise, but that's fine. We'll get through this. And um, so, and in this video, we're going to organize our code a little bit. Um, so, first thing I want to do is. The reason we're going to do this is if you look at your index.php, I mean this is starting to get kind of a lot of code and it's not going to be easy to change and we want to do things more efficient for maintenance and updating in the future. So you know like we don't want to go to every page in our website and update a menu item. We just want to do that in one place. And so we're going to go ahead and get started with setting that up now and then in the future um, it'll be really easy for us to update and organize our code. So. I have my server run in here. If you don't, then you need to go ahead and run this command here um, to get your server going. And I'm going to go to the navigate to the site here. So localhost forward slash tutorial for me. And for you, it's whatever your project folder is. You can see where we left off in video number two uh, right here. And I hate to disappoint you, but at the end of this video, um, it's going to look exactly the same hopefully unless you break it we're just organizing our code a little bit so let's get started with that right here in the main root directory of our project I'm gonna create a new folder I'm gonna call that includes okay um, there's nothing in that folder for now and I'm gonna create a new file in that folder and I'm just gonna call it head.php and what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy everything out of our index.php from our doc type down to our opening body tag. So I'll cop that, uh, I want to copy that, or actually I'm going to cut that out, and I'm going to go to the head.php now, and I'm going to paste that in. We'll save that. Go back to our index page, and right here on the top line now, I'm going to add some PHP tags uh, here. Add some PHP tags, and I'm going to say include, and we'll do includes forward slash head dot php alright save that out and refresh the page and if we did everything right nothing changed um, if you didn't do it right you probably have something that looks a lot oops sorry about that you probably have something that looks a lot like this let's just go ahead and break it on purpose so I'm gonna mess up that path and so you can see that my CSS is not being included I got a PHP warning here at the top of the page and the page looks like crap now. Um, so that is probably what happened if you mess that up. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that. And if your page looks exactly the same after you refresh, that means you did everything right. <clears throat> Alright, let's go ahead now and let's separate our navigation out. So in the includes, I'm going to create a new file. And I'm just going to call it navigation.php and I'm gonna copy everything from this nav uh, deal here all the way down to this navigation and copy uh, cut that out and I just realized there's extra code in here that you probably don't have on yours from the last tutorial series so uh, I'm gonna fix that real quick. You don't need to do this probably. I just have extra uh, menu items here. We're going to do that dynamically from our database anyway so um, we only need the, the one. And then right here back on our index page. So we have our navigation here, our navigation.php and then on our index.php um, I'm going to clean this up a little bit because we're going to do multiple lines here. So, just take a closing PHP tag. I'm going to add another include here. And it's going to be includes forward slash navigation.php. And we've got to make sure we use our semicolon to close that line of PHP. We'll refresh the page, and nothing has changed. Our menu is still working, which is exactly what we want. Alright, so I think on some of our pages we're going to want this cool parallax header 
that we've created. But on some of the pages, I think we're going to actually make a new image that looks kind of like this and just have this at the top of the page so that we don't have this full image. I mean, it's just redundant and we want it to be cool when you first go to the page, but uh, we don't want to have the same exact header on every page, but we want it to be consistent. So we'll make something that looks a lot like it does on my screen right now. Um, but we're going to put that in two different files. So the way we're going to do that is in our includes we'll create a new file and we're going to call this one header full.php we'll just you can call it whatever you want I'm going to call it full just so I know this is a full header here and I need to also include this div right here with the class the container fluid here so I'm going to cut all that out put it here in the header full now later when we create our header for the other pages we will also need to copy this one line in there so that the page still works alright so right here now I'm gonna include that so includes forward slash header full dot php we'll save that and refresh it and nothing changed. <laughs> good deal. So we're still looking good. If you if your page changed and or something broke, just go ahead and look at the code here and take a moment to figure out what had happened. Um, go through each one of your deals and make sure that you didn't miss any code. Um, a lot of times when this breaks, it's because you forgot to grab part of a tag. You'll do something like that. Um, so just you know keep an eye out and make sure you're copying and pasting the right things the next thing we're gonna take this left sidebar here I know there's not much code in it right now but there will be later so we're gonna put it in its own file I'm gonna call that left bar .php. my naming conventions might suck you guys might decide to name these things differently I don't care what you do but um, this is how I'm gonna organize my project Let's see left bar dot php it's a war zone in here let's see all right refresh the page looking good our left bar still here and we're almost done with this actually so we'll just keep at it our main content we're gonna leave right here on this page um, it will actually get cleaned up later when we use our php to generate this but for now this is what it is um, Let's see here. Mo our details light box. What I like to do on Atom and I think on brackets, if you just click inside of this div, it'll also highlight the closing div for you. So I'm going to highlight all of that for our details light box here. And let's cut that out and create a new file. I'm going to call this details modal.php. We'll paste that in. So we got our whole modal here. Save it. And go back to our index here and we will um, What I'm going to do is right here. Hmm. How do I want to do this? So I think I'm going to need to include this div. Well, it doesn't much matter. So, what we can do now, um, this div right there actually is the closing div for in our header full this one that's highlighted right here this div down here at the bottom of the page right there is going to have to be in the in the footer area of our page so we need to include that so one thing I'm going to do is copy all of the rest of the page from that div down cut that and I'm going to create in the includes a new file called footer.php 
paste that in, save it, go back to the index. Um, so then we also have a right sidebar here, and I will cut that, create a new file, we'll call it rightbar.php, paste that in there, save it. All right, so now we have all of our, the only thing we have on our page right now is this main content. And at the bottom of the page, we just need to include these files that we cut out. And we're going to need to put them in the correct order. Um, to do this, first, we need to go ahead and put in our modal. So we're going to do includes, or include, rather, sorry, includes forward slash details modal dot php next we want to include our right bar dot php and lastly we want to include our footer dot php by the way the order that you put these in do matter I mean it's gonna literally when you include this details motor modal it's gonna take all this code and place it in that spot and then when you include the right bar it's gonna take the code from that file and put it in this exact spot so if you put those out of order it'll just change the order on the screen and it may break your code or it may just look funny so just make sure you have those the order correct on those and let's save that index file now and let's refresh the page everything looks to be working let's check our modal so click on one of these alright that looks to be working still um, so like I promised um, at the end of this video your website looks exactly the same as it did two videos ago uh, and I know that that is discouraging but I promise in the next video we are going to do some pretty cool stuff with PHP and we're gonna start using our database and getting a lot of this information from our database and it'll be dynamic we'll have more menu items and that'll all be drawn from our database um, and don't worry we're also going to include a, uh, an admin area in this project for the shop owner of, of, they may not be a programmer but we want them to be able to add products um, in an easy way without you without having to add code and so I think that'll be pretty cool um, we'll build a little admin or login area for them and uh, allow them to upload photos and put in the names and their brands and everything like that and just you know maybe we'll even have a little spot for featured products and you know that sort of thing alright well I will see you guys in the next video and have a great day